Good afternoon, members of the media and the listening public. Thank you for coming and tuning in today. I'd like to welcome the Premier of Bermuda, an esteemed guest. In a minute, in a moment, I will introduce the Minister of Public Works, Lieutenant Colonel, the Honorable David Birch, who will speak regarding an exciting partnership between government and Groms. Minister? Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And welcome to St. John's Field, home of Western Stars Sports Club, more commonly known as Dandytown. I'm delighted to be joined by a collection of folk, um, including the Premier of Bermuda, the Honorable E. David Bart, MP Michael Weeks, both members of Dandytown, Mr. Andrew McKay of, of Gorms, and Ms. the President of Western Stars, Mr. DeVar Boyles, the Vice President, Mr. Wayne Campbell, and the Secretary of the Club, uh, Ms. Seanette Pirot. Western Stars Sports Club has been a permanent part of the Pembroke West community for well over 100 years. Gorms, too, has been a part of this community for more than 80 years. They share adjoining properties, so it makes sense for them to be good neighbors to each other and I think it's fair to say they are. Western Stars have occupied this site since the early 1970s and have faced several challenges during that time. For many years, St. John's Field has been plagued with uneven grounds leading to frequent flooding. As a result, the club has experienced many weeks where the field has been unusable for training, community events, or recreational activities. The clubhouse, also erected in the 1970s, is in dire need of refurbishment to assist the club in catering to its ever-expanding community programs. Those include senior, junior, and peewee football and cricket programs for both boys and girls. I am particularly impressed with the youth football team, whose newest member is my soon-to-be 10-year-old godson, Caden. With that background, it was an easy decision for me to make when Gorms first wrote in December 2018 to propose an arrangement that would benefit both their business and Western Stars. In order to advance the discussion, I asked the Estates Department within the Ministry to coordinate meetings between the two parties to discuss how they could work more closely together. The results of those very fruitful discussions brings us here today to announce an in principle agreement between them, the government of Bermuda, to the mutual benefit of all parties. Simply stated, Gorms wants access to an unused, densely overgrown strip of government owned land to the west of their property for a new roadway to connect the front and back areas of their property in exchange for which they would provide significant support and upgrades to the field and club operations. We are making this announcement today to publicly confirm government's formal agreement to the concept and will provide Gorms with written confirmation of same so that they can engage the Department of Planning and all other relevant statutory bodies to ensure the plan is acceptable. Gorms will incur and pay for all the associated surveying, engineering, and draw drawing costs. At the, con at the successful conclusion of that process, we will proceed to a formal agreement between the parties to establish a definitive timeline for the commencement and scope of works to be undertaken. Included in the plans are not just field improvements, but a full assessment and likely replacement of the club building. I am sure that Western Stars will be looking to not just this community, but the wider Bermudian community in their fundraising efforts to make this a first-class facility. To say that we are delighted with this arrangement would be an understatement. It is a testament to working collaboratively together in the spirit that Gorms are well known for as an outstanding corporate citizen. Likewise. Western Stars are well known for their unwavering commitment to the Pembroke West community. It's been a long journey to this point, but I anticipate 
progress will now proceed apace and we shall soon see work begin on both projects. The full resources of the Ministry of Public Works will be brought to bear in support of this effort. Similar to this government's commitment to work with sporting clubs by converting field rental fees to a peppercorn rent, we are equally committed to partnering with the private sector in support of them as well. I am convinced that this arrangement will reap benefits for Gorms and the West Pembroke community and will serve as an example for others to follow. I'm now pleased to hand over to Mr. Andrew McKay, Gorham's General Manager, to give a few remarks, followed by Ms. Seanette Peyrat on behalf of Western Stars, and then finally by the Premier. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Andrew McKay, CEO, General Manager of Gorham's. I'm very excited. It's been a while that uh, this is coming to fruition, but it's now here, and here we are. Um, a lot of work still to do and a lot of work and progress has so far taken place and the fact that we're now going to proceed forward with a boundary that's going to be mutually beneficial to both Danny Star Danny's Town Western Stars and Gorham's is uh, exciting. The other aspect I want to touch on is the benefit to the kids because the kids are going to be the ones that are really going to be able to enjoy this ground after a lot of us have sort of got our walking canes and moved on um, and that's the exciting part. Um, it's been a an area that we've looked at over many years, we've had different ideas on it, but it's a very exciting time and I'm, I'm encouraging everybody, community, businesses, everybody who wants to see this area grow to something more exciting and more popular to join in. You know, we're, we're one big store, that's all we are, but we're a big community from the hills over, way, over down to Spanish Point. So I encourage everybody to come on board, learn more about it and uh, be part of this uh, very exciting uh, project. So again, uh, very grateful that uh, we have this opportunity and super excited. So welcome and thank you all uh, very much. Exciting. Um, I'll pass it on to, thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Western Stars Sports Club is pleased and excited to be afforded this opportunity to partner with the government and private sector gorms, our neighbors, to strengthen our sports programs and offer a facility that can cater to community events. Clubs can play an important and valuable role in our communities, and with this venture, more value will be added to the Pembroke West area. We foresee a purpose-built facility that can be used for major local and international sporting events, a model facility that can be better serve our sports teams and hopefully inspire other public and private sector partnerships. Western Star Sports Club is grateful for the initiative by GOMS and look forward with great anticipation on the completion of the project. Thank you once again. Good afternoon, members of the media. Uh, my comments will be brief. I am here today to congratulate not only the Ministry of Public Works, uh, Gorham's and the Western Star Sports Club for working together to make this a reality. As the Minister said, this is a long time coming, but it's a testament to show that with hard work and making sure that you have a spirit of making sure that you get something done, and this is where we are today. In, in 2017, when the Progressive Labour Party was running for its uh, election, we said that we were going to strengthen our community clubs and it was a specific point of which we made. As the minister mentioned, MP Michael Weeks and I are members of this club, but we're also members of other clubs, and it is our job to continue to work to strengthen community clubs around this country because they play a very vital role in the social fabric that is here. A lot of times we hear about the bad aspects, but there's not enough that are focused on the good aspects about the young men and young women that have an opportunity to participate in after-school activities, about the services that are given to our seniors and communities, and about the work that is done year-round. So I want to congratulate the Western Star Sports Club. It is right near to my constituency. A lot of the members of this sports club are part of my constituency, and I'm looking forward to continuing to work with the government, uh, uh, with the club, and on behalf of the government to make this reality. So, Minister, I want to say thank you very much.
um, as quick as possible. For the, first, the first aspect of this, now that we have uh, an agreement in principle, is so that governments can go and do the proper consultation with the appropriate bodies, like planning. Can we build a road? Um, once those docks are in a row, and I imagine you're going to start, they're ready to go. A lot of that work has been done already. Um, once that is in place and there is an agreement from planning and the other agencies that are involved in this, we will sign an agreement and get cracking. Concurrent with that, um, I've already had some discussions with, with planning in terms of the resources of the Ministry of Public Works. Like you can't just put, I understand, I'm, 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 tell, I'm selling it to you as good as I got it, okay? I understand that you can't just put sand on this field and raise it and expect for that to work. That requires some expertise. We have that expertise in the ministry, and so they'll collaborate with the, with the partners in this to make sure that we are able to provide that work going ongoing. And so there's going to be a lot of concurrent activity while we're waiting for permission so that once we do get that, we are ready to rock and roll. Good afternoon. Um, protocol being established. My name is Devar Boyles, the newly elected president. I don't have much of a voice. Um, yes, we have, but it's all tentative. So what we have spoken to, and uh, we're going to have to ask the premier and the government for some assistance. We're trying to partner. Have a we have a loose partnership with West Pembroke, um, Barclay, and some of the other middle schools. So based on proximity, we would like to um, move our program temporarily to the closest schools, i.e. Northless Primary, Barclay Institute, and West Pembroke. What we recognize is that our program is massive, and we don't want to take the whole program to one location and destroy their facilities, so we're going to have to break it off in smaller sections based on school permission and, and the rest of it.